Uh, just hanging out with Brian Reynolds, no big deal. Fresh off that two run shot against the Braves yesterday. I'm so curious how you guys view your spring training at bats early in spring. We get pumped up as mm -hmm. fans to see you go deep. How, what do you use them for? Uh, I mean, it's just kind of tr really trying to get ready for the season. And, you know, those first few at bats, you kind of wonder if you forgot how to hit. <laughs> did you? Play baseball. I did. Doesn't look like it. Year, but, you know, I ran into one yesterday. So, you know, hopefully that'll ride that wave. I remember talking to you last season and you said it's about when you get your foot down, right? If you if you get it down early, you feel like you're good to go. If not, that's not the case. Is it still that way for you? Yeah, so left-handed, same thing. If I want to, you know, if I want to be on time, I got to get my foot down when the pitcher's like right here. Yeah. Right-handed, a little different, same kind of idea. More so having my hands in a spot they can fire instead of being ready and them dancing around, so. Just being ready early is the main thing. I mean, left-handed, you messed around with the, the leg kick and the toe tap. How did you kind of simplify? And was that the plan all along, or no? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I've kind of played around in years past with that, but it never really worked. You know, left-handed, I've got to be, I've got to be kind of boring and kind of just. <laughs> Yeah, just boring left-handed. Right-handed, I can mess around with it a little bit just because that's my natural side, but yeah. Here's what I do know. You're deep in your legs. Are you still this year? Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, by the fifth at bat, are you thinking, this hurts? Yeah, especially with the new pitch clock. Yes. If the bat at bat gets long, start burning a little bit, got to call time and shake it out. But I just start, I started doing that a few years ago. Made me see the ball a little bit better with two strikes and worked, so I just kept going with it. I mean, it's been a drama-free, rumor-free off-season for you. You don't see, you seem like this. We're always talking about you in some capacity. Does that affect you in any way that it was just kind of quiet and you could go about your business and do your work? Yeah, it was definitely a better off-season in the past. You know, <laughs> last year, we won't get into that, but, uh, you know, with trade rumors and all that yeah. in years past, so it's nice to have that relaxation and just get to actually focus on where I'm gonna be and just get ready for that. There's a cool vibe here. I mean, we were just, we've been here for a couple hours and it's Martine and it's Marco and there's there's a there's a core in that rotation this year. Uh, there seems to be a veteran vibe. What's your take on the 2024 Pittsburgh Pirates so far? I'm really excited about it. Like there's said, a lot of a, it. Yeah, we got a good core. We got, you know, a good lineup. Some, like you said, some veterans. I feel like in the past we would have one veteran, maybe, maybe two. I feel like this year we've got a good, a good core of veterans, a good core of young pitchers that are talented, young hitters. So I think it's an exciting time in you know Pittsburgh. Have you faced Paul Skeens yet? I haven't. Uh, I mean, Brian. Throwing tomorrow, so. Uh, throwing maybe. a billion. Yeah, he's he's pretty impressive. I saw saw just a little bit of a backfield live BP, and it was pretty electric. Yeah, 90 wins this year. Yes. Yeah, why not? Let's go, Brian yeah. Reynolds. Appreciate it. Back to you.